Hey, what is up, dudes? My name is Freaky, and today I have for you a best gun class setup video for the Maverick Assault Rifle, and it has just been released for the Call of Duty Ghost Onslaught DLC, and it also comes in a format of the Maverick A2, which is a sniper rifle, uh, but today we're going to be looking at the standalone Maverick AR. Uh, now, this gameplay is a 21 gun streak on the map Ignition, which is a remake of Scrapyard uh, on this DLC, and I do pretty well with it, and I think I'm using the setup of a sad calm dog and hind, and I do pretty well uh, in this gameplay so hopefully you guys will enjoy it um so let's go right into it there aren't any real stats on this weapon like damage and lowest damage and how fast it kills and such like that so far uh there hasn't been really any stats confirmed on the weapon itself uh, but there is integrated velocity rounds so that we do know it will kill within two shots up close because velocity rounds actually help the overall weapon itself by accuracy and uh you know killing up close very very quickly uh so i'm going to take that it kills within two shots up close you know depending on where you're shooting them so if you're shooting them in the chest up close it's probably going to be within two shots and uh, from a far away distance I'm going to guess four to five shots at a distance you know depending on where you're shooting the person how far away he is uh, it's going to be within four to five shots and those are just my overall uh, stats uh, for this weapon and they're not confirmed yet so don't take it uh, to heart but uh, I'm just guessing uh, so the overall attachments we're using on this weapon today is going to be the silencer and extended mags and I was kind of Fumbling around between these two attachments because I really want a silencer on my weapon because I like to be off the minimap at all times and I don't like them to know where I actually am. Um, so the extended mags and grip, I kept going between these two uh, attachments here and uh, I figured out that grip does help the recoil. Um, but if you're feathering the trigger or if you're just aiming a little bit lower on the target himself, you're not really needing grip too much uh, unless you're really someone to want to shoot from a far away distance at someone, then it might help you. Uh, but in this uh, circumstance, we're using extended mags um, because I figured out that this weapon probably kills two or three enemies w with one clip. And uh, with this class itself, you're going to want to be killing more than that. And uh, the extended mags really does help you get out of sticky situations since you'll need a little bit more ammo, say there's two or three enemies enemies at a time and uh, say you really need to kill them and they keep spawning in that area uh, it's really really easy with that circumstance and today we're not using sleight of hand so extended mags really does come in handy so I want to talk about the uh, iron sights on this overall weapon it's very unique and it reminds me of a holographic sight so if you could turn the holographic sight into an iron sights with a field of view a little bit farther away uh, that's pretty much what the iron sights of this weapon is and it's very very accurate and uh, I love these iron sights so much so the perk setup of this class is going to be uh, Lightweight Stalker, Dead Silence, Scavenger, and Focus. Uh, now, the whole reason we're using Lightweight today is going to be because we're going to be getting shot at and we want to push into the enemy spawn very, very fast. And uh, we can get out of sticky situations, say, if we're getting shot at from where we don't know where we're getting shot at from. Uh, we can easily dip away and not take extra bullets if we didn't have Lightweight on. So I've noticed with Stalker, Stalker actually does help the uh, weapons that have a moderate fire rate. Uh, so if you're coming up against a uh, gun uh, that is a little bit faster fire than you do, uh, the Stalker will definitely help you out because you'll be able to stalk from side to side and uh, to stay out of the enemy's sights as quickly as possible. And it'll help you to get your bullets on target uh, if you're really, really good with Stalker. Uh, now, Dead Silence is just going to help us uh, stay off the enemy's uh, headset because that's always useful. And Scavenger, always for my best gun class setup, we're just going to be using this gun and this gun only. We don't have to worry about picking up another weapon and learning its recoil. Uh, so it's very, very good. And focus will just help us overall uh, to keep us from flinching. And there is a little bit recoil on this weapon. Uh, it's not very noticeable. Uh, but if you keep hammering down on the trigger, you'll definitely notice it. And if you're flinching from that, it, it could be disastrous. So uh, we definitely want to have focus on. So this overall class is a really, really fun class to use. Hopefully you guys can do really, really well with it. Let me know in the comment section below how well you did with this best gun class setup and also what weapon you want to see next for the best gun class setup series and hope you guys did enjoy this video this has been the freaky gameplay commentator uh go check out my other videos in the outro and i will catch your freaky faces in the next video Hey, what is up, dudes? This is some Ignition gameplay from Call of Duty Ghost Onslaught DLC, and it just has been released today for the Xbox users, and it will be coming out a month later uh, for the PlayStation Nation, so keep you guys' eyes open for that one. Because